Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So now we know that the Screen Fortress update is on the way and that there is going to be one this year. That means a couple of things are going to happen. One, people are going to start having a list of things they want to see. And two, people are going to have predictions as to what is actually going to be in this update. So today I'm going to talk about them both. Something I really quickly wanted to clear up before starting this video, my last TF2 video called We Need an Update was recorded a few days before the Scream Fortress event got leaked in the game. So a lot of the comments were about the fact that they were working on it. And I knew that as I uploaded the video, but my points from that video still stand. So I kept it up knowing that the Scream Fortress had just been leaked. So yeah, that's, that's the reason. So anyway, onto the topic of the video. I'm going to start off with some of the things I'd like to see from the update. I think obviously good contracts would be one of them. They have mentioned that they're doing it, so it's pretty much guaranteed that they're coming back. But I'd like them to change some of the ones that weren't so great last year and replacing them with some better ones or like new Halloween styled stuff would be awesome to see as well. Maybe they'd do the same thing as the Pyroland ones where you rent a Halloween type weapon and get kills with it like the Bat Out of Hell and I've run out of examples. But just something to mix up contracts since they've been quite samey and boring over the last couple of events. So mix up a little bit would be quite cool. The second thing is new cosmetics. They've also said this one is happening and it's a bit of a given anyway. New crate with new cosmetics, but try and make them kind of cool. I know we got the Ricardo hat in the summer update, which I wasn't exactly the happiest about that hat. I mean, it was cool if you like the meme or whatever, but you know, I'm kind of over it. So having that hat in the game was kind of cool, but also whatever. I, I, I want to see them do something like when they put Mario's hat into tf2 obviously it's not called mario's cap or whatever but something like that like super popular halloween costumes in tf2 maybe some other video game characters if it's possible is kind of what i want to see they could have the scout dressed up as where's wally or where's waldo and why the hell does he change his name depending on where in the world he is but you get the point like super popular halloween costumes in tf2 maybe some other video game characters maybe the generic stuff but not a load of cosmetics people are going to forget about. The next thing I'd like to see is a new game mode. I honestly have no idea what this game mode would be, but I feel like a lot of Halloween maps are good because they are just reskins on the maps with occasional bosses. But the couple of maps that have been added into the Screen Fortress updates have been quite good when they've had their own game mode as well. There's something interesting to do for a little bit. Maybe they're not your favorite maps ever, but there's something interesting to try out. And when I'm trying to make content on this update, a new game mode would probably be one of the best things to cover. So I'd like that for my own benefit of making videos. And I just think it would be interesting to see what they came up with if they have made one. But again, not something I think is actually going to happen. And probably the final thing that I would like to see in this update this year is a new boss. And I know this one probably won't happen. In fact, I can most likely bet money against this thing had not happening and I'd be fine. Like, there's no chance. But it would be so cool. It would be amazing to see a new boss come into the game. I think Marasmus was the last one and that was in like 2012 or something like that. So it's been a couple of years since that. Um, yeah. I think something cool they could do was try and make the Saxon Hale game mode that exists on community servers a real thing and have actual Saxon Hale in matchmaking so everyone could queue for it really easily. And I think that if they did add an official Saxon Hale game mode into Scream Fortress or even just the game in general, it would be probably up there, like very high up there, as one of the best Scream Fortress updates we've ever had. Okay, so now I've talked about what I would love to have in the update. Let's talk about what I think is actually going to be in the update. Honestly, I think that Valve are only going to be able to reasonably give us another crate and the same contracts from last year. And honestly, I don't really blame them that much. There might not be that many people working on TF2 right now. Obviously, we don't know that number changes all the time. And the hopeful side of me is thinking that they don't want to make this update super huge because there's something else that might be just around the corner. But unlikely uh, <laughs> but i don't think we're going to get a new game mode i don't think we're going to get a new boss or anything like that but the contracts in the case we're pretty much definitely going to get those it's not quite screen fortress if you haven't got a way to spend your money and waste your time on contracts so 
yeah, hopefully there's a cool reward for the contracts. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see in your dream Scream Fortress update. It doesn't have to be something super realistic that the TF team could do. It just has to be anything you would love to see in TF2, whether it be, I, I don't know, a new boss or something completely different. Let me know. I'd like to hear it. And with that, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and let me know you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content from me running up to Scream Fortress, whenever that might be, because we don't actually have a date yet, then make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Anyway, that's all I've got with this one, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.